Hello everyone. I want to talk about something. Years ago, I was living in a particular apartment and it was a cheap place to live. And as it seems, I guess in some cheap places, it may draw some people who don't really have a mind to take care of where they live. So I believe that place could have been pretty decent if people were to clean up. I guess there were some people there that would be dirty, I guess, and I guess visitors would come and I believe mess up the area too. Anyways, yeah, I believe so. Anyways, um, when I lived there, I would fornicate there. I would do sexual sin there. Look at pornography. Listen to. I believe I would listen to very bad music too. Or should I say worldly music and pretty much in a sense pretty much doing what i wanted to do there would be times where i would try to change but i believe i would go yes i believe there were times where i would try to change but i would go back to my old ways so there came a time where I may have things mixed up a bit, but I believe there came a time where I really wanted to change things. And I may have things out of order of me speaking about it. When I would go to sleep or try to, actually when I would try to sleep, I forget how everything was. From my head to my toe, I would feel like someone is pressing down on me. And if I remember correctly, I believe I would feel a demonic presence. So, I believe there was, was it a week straight or something like that? I could not sleep when I would go to bed. But when I would go to work, the times when I have to work within that period, I would feel so sleepy and I had trouble staying awake at work. It was horrible. And eventually I had to move with some people and you may say kevin why are you telling us this i believe when i was doing when i was fornicating when i was looking at pornography i believe i was listening to bad music as rap music and stuff like that i believe so was I listening to like music in the 70s, 80s and stuff like that? Pretty much worldly music. I believe me partaking of the world so much in that room, I believe that invited the demonic. Exactly what of the demonic, I don't know, but I believe it demonic. It invited demonic spirits. So when I tried 
to do what is right, I believe that is when demonic things started to happen. So you may be at the stage now where you don't really care. You want to do what you want to do. You want to fornicate. You want to commit adultery. You want to just be you, so to speak. If I am not mistaken, I believe there will be times where I would feel like I think so many things happened to me in that apartment, but let me go back. You may want to do whatever you want to do. I believe by doing that, there is a price to pay. As of now, I believe there are things that I may go through now because of my past. What if I chose to serve God and stayed with it? What if I chose to serve God at age eight or something like that and stayed with it to the age I am now? Probably things would be so much better for me. Probably I wouldn't have had to go through the things I went through. But because of my stubbornness, because of ignorance, because of low self-esteem, and I wanted to be seen very highly, I wanted to be, I guess, somewhat looked highly upon. No, I believe I want it to be looked highly upon because of so many reasons I did wrong. And I totally regret it. I totally regret it. So if you are going through what I went through with this demonic stuff, maybe you were as bad as me maybe you were worse than me maybe you are in the middle or less bad as me and let's say the demonic is really messing with you i believe one of the best things to do for one stop doing i know that we may not do everything right, but try to stop every bad thing you are doing. I think that is first. Two, you may have to fast. You may have to pray. You may have to, you know, some people may be afraid to tell other people what is going on. You may need someone to come over there and help you pray where you live. But let me say this, you may not see it right now because maybe you don't know too much about God, but you may feel, you may know doing bad things is something God doesn't want. You may know it is bad, but you may still feel there is benefit to it. There is no benefit. If you include, you reap what you sow. If you include demonic attacks and stuff like that, there is no benefit in doing what is wrong. You may feel good about it at that time period, but when it is time to pay, I believe it is not going to feel good. Even now, even with all that I have been through, even now I believe I get thoughts telling me I should do this, I should do that. But I have been through quite a bit and I know for a fact if I go back to doing those things, 
it is not going to go well for me. Listen now, I believe anything that is encouraging you to go against the word of God, I believe if you look at the roots of it, I believe it is a demon or demons. Like I was, don't get me wrong, even as a Christian, I go through things now, but when I did not know as much, I believe I was tormented so much. Probably because before that, probably because of the bad things I was doing. There was a time, I think back in, what year was that? 2005, 2006, I was really into dragons. Imagine that. <laughs> I was into dragons. And I believe um, dragons are demonic. I believe Satan is named as a dragon or if I am stating that correctly. I was into dragons and where I would sleep, I had a poster. Was it one or two? Probably in that position where I would sleep on the wall above me, I had a dragon above it. Imagine that. There was a time and I knew I was doing wrong. There was a time where I could feel, actually feel like, if I remember correctly, a cold energy in my chest, like in my chest, as if there was a life form there, which I knew it was there and I was not afraid about it. I was so bad to where I knew that energy was evil, but I was okay with it, which I believe that was a demon. Imagine that. Uncle Kev had demons in him. I believe I did. All that I have been through now, I have learned there is great benefit in living for Jesus Christ. Living for what you want to live for, as in doing what you want may feel good, but in the end, I believe it leads you to death. Back in the past, I was doing stuff I thought I wanted to do, and I was, excuse me, I was depressed, I was unhappy, I was spiteful, hateful, like, I was, you know, I guess, I would not even say I really had a form of happiness. Of course, I would laugh at jokes and stuff and smile, but if I am saying this right, I would not really have sustained joy, if that makes any sense to you. But now I believe I have less and I'm doing less of the bad things I would do in the past, way less. But I have so much more joy. Are bad things still happening to me? Yes, but I have more peace. Yes, I may have to deal with difficult people. I may have to humble myself with people who may seem very ignorant, but I have found there is so much benefit in living for Jesus Christ. I would not trade it for anything. At least when I go through demonic attacks now, even when I was unsaved, I believe I was unsaved back then, I believe I would feel something pressing down on me and I would cry out the name. I would try to say the name Jesus in my mind or my mouth or whatever. And a time after that demonic force would leave. But at least when I get attacked with the demonic now, 
at least I know I have hope. I guess when I was unsaved, I would still, I hope this makes sense. I would still, you know, try to say the name Jesus and ask him for help back then. But I believe when you are saved, you are, you truly have protection, even though I believe God protects the unsaved to a degree, which I believe. But I have hope. Like I can depend on him. Like I can give my burdens unto him. Have you tried carrying your own burdens? That is very hard. We don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I think it gives you less stress to give your burdens to God. I hope all of this makes sense. There's no benefit in doing what is wrong. Let me stop here. May God bless you.